So I invite you to take a deep breath and let us arrive into this space here where we are intending to share about deep throat singing and conscious anger. And allow yourself to navigate into your center, your energetic center, to let yourself arrive in the space. Thank you for coming. Check your grounding cord that we're grounded. And if you can share the color of your grounding cord at the count of three. One, two, three. Dark green. Yellow. Bright yellow. And, and do another clicker for your bubble of space just to get us set up here. This spaceship in this journey that we're going into. We're going to be journeying for two hours, about two hours into the realms of deep throat singing. And is there anything that you need, Christine, uh, before we get going with this? No, I'm, All right. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Great. Uh, I want to share. I want to share a little bit about how my journey with deep throat singing started, and it was a journey that started perhaps about five years ago, when I first learn about this technique and I first heard somebody uh, uh, producing those sounds and, and at first I could not believe that those sounds were coming from a human body like I didn't know how those sounds were coming from a human body and it wasn't until two, two years after that that I, I started like the the passion for it came alive again, and I saw I saw a few uh, music bands that they 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 use this technique for for singing. There is a musician from Mongolia. These are like mount, mountain people from Mongolia that the the um, that they had this technique of singing, and they have these different instruments, and it was just fascinating. Is my whole being lit up with it. And I, I was like, there's no way these people are making those sounds with their mouths. What are they doing? It was just incredible. And uh, a year after that, the, that's like two years away, uh, two years ago, uh, a teacher of deep throat singing showed up in my life. Uh, he was doing a workshop. His name is Matthew Cosell. And he's here from uh, Vancouver Island. He's from from the like. He, this is where I, I received. It. Like I went to his 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 concert. He was doing a concert first, and then he did um, a workshop the day after. And it was an amazing, beautiful, very very intimate circle where we got all initiated into the technique of the throat singing. And it was a very, very amazing healing process. And to me, that, that was the very, very beginning where I got to, to actually like learn some techniques and learn some uh, different things that I could use. Um, and so for the last two years, I, I've been doing practicing. I've just been practicing, practicing. Actually, it's been more like three years. I've been uh, practicing this technique, and uh, it's been a process of developing this muscle here of the throat. There is a specific way in, the, in which it vibrates. And I want to say to that in my class, in the class that I went to, the workshop, there were women and men. And that he said that, that women are also able to, to, to deep throat sing. And that, I, that there is a slight difference in the sounds that it makes, but it, that yeah, like it is possible to 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 do those sounds. And what uh, what it is, uh, the deep throat singing is that an active like it, it creates a, a vibration at this level, and there is also other sounds that can be made. For example, like on the tongue level, 
So with this technique, you'll be making like three different sounds at the same time, which is pretty, pretty amazing. It creates a, a pretty like incredible soundscape, sound, sound feel. Yeah. And yeah. I have a question. Is it, yeah, is it also related to the overtone singing? It's something totally different or is it also related to that? Yes, I have learned recently that it's also considered overtone singing. Oh, okay, so it's somehow mm -hmm, cool. This is what mm -hmm. I hope for. Oh, and great. It's somehow, somehow related. Cool. Amazing. I, I, I'm not so familiar with the term overtone singing. And what I think it is, and I might be wrong, is that is when you play two different sounds at the same time. So you have a tone and then you have an overtone uh, and they are harmonic. So they they create a feel. Yeah, you what I, that? yeah but what I learned, but I'm not an expert, at, not at all. I just heard experts speaking somehow. And they said it's like you have a tone and then the overtone is slightly over it. It's not the next tone, but it's kind of in between. And that makes this this special this this it's vibrating kind of around the main tones. Yes. And that I makes see. this field even more like, like you say there's more there's more in, in it's not just a C and then an E or an F, but it's there's it fills the gaps. That's the variety of tones in between are more getting more. This is that lands. Understood. Yeah, that gives that's that gives me a bit more clarity about it. Hmm. Yeah, because in this technique there is a way that you create a a tone. There is a, a tone like a bass tone, and then there is like other tones that play like around it. Yeah, so they, they go up, they go down, and, and you can create rhythms with those tones while there is a, that, that, that bass, bass tone. Cool. So I guess we, okay. we're going to be doing some of that. Yeah. Yay. For mm -hmm. a long time, I wanted to also go to, to, to an expert or like to, to a teacher, and they are rare. There are not mm -hmm. so many on this planet. So. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I, I want to. Just clarify, I'm not an expert yet yeah, at all. I know. Anyway, and, uh, like to practice with someone who is yeah. practicing is very cool. And what I what I will do is I, I will share what I have been practicing that has gotten me to to the yeah to where I where I can do those tones. And there is still parts that I'm developing, like I'm developing like the length of what I can do it for. Like there is still a part of me that that is like fine tuning the the place where it makes the sound mm -hmm. and yeah i've been able to to share this to create rhythm with this to create music with this even uh, I had to receive feedback from others that is healing like like the sounds that that i'm that i'm producing that they're healing that they're like creating a, an impact in different energetic points that that create healing mm -hmm. uh, and even for for my own self like it is it feels so fulfilling to to create these sounds and to be in the morning and it, it does take a lot of space like here i'm gonna be using my anger to to take a lot of space where i am with these sounds mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah i totally believe that <laughs> like I, yes <laughs> yeah i can see that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool i look hey. like I'm, we are already in and and what I thought is like, okay, we are only two. So in case just that you really um, take care of the space, if you see with one person to, to work with, it's so different. So, and, and if you say after an hour, which is kind of when you go to a singing class or something, it's like an hour at all for, for one person to, to practice. It's already a lot. Just like stay connected with your flow and if, you say it does not need to be the two hours just from that you heard that from my side because working one-on-one -on -one, it's still different even it has yeah. a workshop format but still we are now two and yeah yeah <laughs> thank you for the consideration is there 
Yeah, oh, yeah, you're, you're asking me to, to, to stay in contact with my, my flow. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll do my best. Your, your intention and, and, and yes, like with your center that when you see, okay, the energy goes down and I will also say, okay, maybe hey, pff, I'm, I have enough, you know, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Because, yeah. You know, it's, it's quite something. Starting to learn singing in a different way is quite something. It's not just, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the other intention I have for this space is that I'm sharing it with you, but I, I'm also going to be sharing this uh, with other people that are going to be watching the recording. So I'm also uh, like, like I want like being this the, the the space for sharing that goal, where perhaps like uh, I can I can practice this, I can share the goal. You get to to practice this, and uh, and yeah, like there is a the warning is to 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 go slow and little by little with this because mm -hmm. uh, it can be very impactful on the throat and and also yeah used to go uh, at our own pace our own our own time and cool. you let me know if, if there is anything that you need at any moment it's like stop me pause me and just let me know cool. i want to speak uh, a bit about the the connection with anger and how that how that connection came about for me, and it was about a, a year ago when I started uh, studying the 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 context of possibility management and the, the work with conscious anger. And actually, when I started doing my three 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 initiation, like a, an initiation is initiation for those that don't know about the three three three. That is a three minutes of expressing your full, full conscious, full anger for three minutes, three times a week for the length of three months. And using your voice, your facial muscles, your, your, your hands, your toes, all of your body. And it was during this practice that, that in the sounds that I was making, I was like singing like, Wow, this kind of sounds like deep throat singing, or there is like a part of myself that that it sounds kind of like deep throat singing. And then a few uh, a few moment a few days after or something like that, I I got this uh, visual of a teacher. There was a an image of a teacher in the mountains, and it was kind of like it was a vision that I had of a teacher in the mountains that had like his uh, students or people that were like learning from him. And and the students were making these uh, ridiculous questions, and he was so frustrated. He was so angry. He was angry at the students. This is a, a bit of unconscious anger. <laughs> but he was uh, making these sounds like ah ah ah. He was like ah. Oh, you guys don't get it. You guys don't get it. <laughs> Uh, how when are you gonna get it <laughs> something like that <laughs> and he was a uh, like and then like kind of like from the teacher like stay with this this feeling and and i don't know this is just a maybe a funny story but it's kind of like the way i've been uh, the way i want to introduce the, the connection with anger because uh, it's connected to with warriorship yeah like this like to me it's like a warrior a way of uh, singing. So the the teacher you started like going in more into that it's like ah 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 he was like growing like frustrated, but that will be his way of expressing his frustration and also his love for that that would be like the answer to to the question so of the the people that were learning from him something like that so uh, i find that that we can yeah like um uh, yeah that that, can, that that is like a starting point for for going into deep throat singing and maybe not to think of the frustration but kind of like uh, with the towel when you start squeezing it and you start making those sounds um to, to use your anger to uh, to kind of like connect it with your throat, like become very aware of your throat and you start like looking for the vibrations in your throat. So 
that that was my connection with the with anger that's how how it connected to me my 333 practice my uh, conscious anger practice like took my deep throat singing to the next level in the way that I, I was able to use my my diaphragm the, the muscles down here from my center to to like be more intent to like have like that intent of creating that vibration here and um, cool I think that will be one of the first experiments that we can try here cool. wow do you have any questions so far no. about this um, okay I enjoy the the story your dream vision <laughs> <laughs> cool <laughs> yeah and we'll we'll get to make those sounds and uh, but first, uh, what I want to do is warm us up with uh, first with our, our face. There was some, there is some face uh, stretches that I want to do, and also we're gonna do some uh, stretches in our throat. So just take a deep breath. And take another deep breath. Yeah. We're going to start relaxing. If we need a lot of relaxation of this, you start touching your face and you need a little massage on your cheeks, inside your eyes. There might be some feelings that come and just let those feelings like circulate in your experience, in your body. Yeah, that's great. So I'm being here on the forehead. Gonna give ourselves some massages before we start doing this big work. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> always good <laughs> yeah mm. yeah and your ears one thing that I learned in that workshop about our ears is that our ears are like have pin uh, points of nervous points to all of our body, so when we touch our ears, it kind of like like we're giving uh, ourselves uh, a massage all over our body. Mm. There. Yeah, and during that, during our workshop, we took our time to do this. We really took like like five minutes to do a warm up and stretch. And it was really amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a lot of tension that gets accumulated here on the throat part <clears throat> and, and uh, my, my teacher spoke about uh, a connection between the throat and the lips that there is a, a connection between the, the way our lips are and the throat they, mm -hmm. they both move together in synchrony in syn synch synch synchronously to to produce these sounds, like even these words that I'm speaking, there is a, a movement of my throat and a movement of my lips. Yeah, yeah when, I'm, when, I, when I'm going on my lips and I have my thumb on my throat, then I, it's vibrating. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, one, one of the women in the, one of the women in the class, where I was, she she spoke about something that an, an observation that she she had 
and she observed that there was a connection between her, uh, what do you call this, her, uh, not, uh, I'm gonna say this word, I'm, I'm not sure if this is what she said with her vaginal tract, okay. between her vaginal tract and her throat, that when her throat was, she, she observed that when her throat relaxed, also like down there, it will relax. Or, or like you will like like open up or something like that. And totally. I just want to share this the, for. It, yeah, what I learned is also that, like the jar, when you open, when you are losing up this. Yeah. Your pelvis is not stiff anymore, but also gets flexible, and also the lips are connected with the vagina lips. I would like yeah. <laughs> everything is connected. Wow. <laughs> And, uh, you need to drink a bit of water uh, before we move on to the next part. Um, so I'm gonna show us uh, uh, just a, f a few more uh, uh, warming up or like relaxing, like a way of relaxing more this this part here that we're gonna need for this next part. Okay. And. You're gonna put your fingers up in this way, uh, like around your cheeks, and you're gonna pout your lips. And we're gonna make a sound like this. And, and and try try to aim for like the 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 slowest time that you can like the slowest uh, vibrate uh, like the slowest vibration that you can like, okay. okay like this is this will be fast uh -huh. and this will be slow okay okay, okay. Mm. yeah That's great. Great. And uh, next, we're gonna like open open your jaw, like ah, uh, uh, and move your move your jaw one side and the other and all of this is with the with the intention to kind of like bring bring this to a, like a relaxed state like a warm warmed up state can you share your hands to put this down Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there, I, I'm feeling pretty warmed up now. Um, Trying to remember if there is any other exercises for the jaw. Yeah, that 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 that's what gets it like going. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> cool. So, I'll say let's, let, we're gonna move on to working with the towel now.
and I don't know, you probably done this experiment before, but we're gonna be using the towel to yeah, oh, yeah, feel our anger, to feel our the energy of anger, yeah, that energy inside of us that that's for setting boundaries, that energy inside of us that's for, for that takes space and uh, says yes and no, and this thing that that really allows us to to feel safe in, in the taking of space, in the space that we're taking, and uh, that we do this for the experiment of. Of learning uh, to go into this this space, into this te technique that we're about to explore, and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate first uh, how 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 like how we could go, and we're gonna hold your uh, the towel in a way that that it uh, holding like that, and we're gonna be twisting like that. You're gonna like be feeling the pressure and feeling the pressure of twisting the towel and feeling that energy that goes from your knuckles from your from your fist down to towards your arms and your elbows and towards your shoulders and towards the rest of your body shall i already go or is it you you demonstrate uh yes i you can you can go ahead okay. go ahead now yeah <laughs> okay. yeah that this will be the, the first part of it <sighs> yeah and when it's uh, about a uh, 20 percent the sounds will be starting to come out like some sounds will be starting to come out <sighs> Yeah, we're gonna pay special attention to the throat uh, to to use like to start finding that place and like think of the this teacher that was using his anger to to share his 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 uh, his gold with his uh, uh, the people that were learning from him. I don't want to call them students because it's like so like, <laughs> yeah, the people that are learning from him. Cool. So. <clears throat> Yeah, look great. Keep going. But it's more up here. So it's Yeah, it's like somewhere like like here. Here. Okay. Yeah, and you can like like make like pushes like <clears throat> like when you're frustrated like <clears throat> and <clears throat> and that's gonna start warming up the diaphragm to to send that intention uh, up up this way. Mm -hmm. So be like. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, keep yeah. going. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try this. Mm -hmm. Try. It. Maybe try this. Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pause for a moment. That's great. I'm more, more <laughs> than I throw. 
Mm. Hands are, the hands are getting tired. Yeah, the hands yeah. are getting more tired than the throat at the cool. moment, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, I want to share that um, from uh, what um, from what my uh, Matthew was sharing, my teacher Matthew was sharing that some people get it the first time, some people it, it takes longer. And and really for me it wasn't neither or like well it was like it took longer for me it really took longer for me to, I didn't get it on the first time but like after practicing this like uh, over and over like I I was able to like find that spot and yeah just uh, like the intention will be to 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 start like moving your energy from like either if it's too too low to bring it a little bit higher or if it's too high to bring it a bit lower just with, with your intention and to continue practicing that uh, <clears throat> and I find that the, the anger it kind of like creates that, that intent that I'm going to take space to make these sounds and I'm going to sound like a fart I'm going to sound like 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 not not throat singing and it's okay like I'm not gonna sound like the thing that I wanted to sound, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not. I'm sounding like a fart. That I, I remember. <laughs> I will keep that. Okay. Yeah, and is uh, what I was seeing yesterday is kind of like this connection with the what did I call it? Your your commitment to music and uh, your commitment to the vibrational field to the soundscape. And it, what it feels like is kind of like taking a stand uh, for being a, 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 the bright principle of music. Mm. And, and, and it's really like using that uh, anger to, to create that, that vibration. Uh, and, I, and also like your other feelings, but right now we'll, we'll be using like the connection with anger. Uh, to say, I'm gonna take space. Yeah, and, Amazing. yeah, it's like, <laughs> and I, you can, I, yeah, like, you can really stay there for longer, and it takes time to to develop that that muscle. It's not like a muscle; it's like like using the throat for the first time, and it's something that goes like this: taka 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 taka. Mm -hmm. It's like clapping here, and, uh, and it's very ecstatic. Like after that, like I, I feel like like in health, like. Like wow! Like I'm being a channel. Like I heard that the crow started singing, that the birds started like making sounds, and the the, ener the energy in the space it, it, it changes. And yeah. even until here, even through the screen, it's really cool. Yeah, I'm curious yeah. how how it will sound over on that side, or how it will sound in the recording. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and like what 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 is it catching what is it not catching the recording so I, yeah i call that the, like the commitment to music like making a commitment that that you're gonna be practicing and you're gonna make sounds and the that it takes it takes that time and that intention to to sound like uh, not exactly what you want to sound like but uh, uh you, you want to keep practicing, kind of like walking and falling, walking and falling, walking and falling. So uh, uh, there is um, there is a, a, there is something I want to share that is we call I call this the the microphone, the, your your own microphone. 
and is that you put your your hand here to kind of capture your own soundscape like here i can sound i can hear myself differently yeah. and you like find that find that place where you can hear yourself uh and i guess it only works when you're when you're speaking and when you can hear speaking. yourself yeah 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 and uh, i let you do, like find that and then this this hand is gonna be here kind of like sending your sound to here and then this mm. like can let it go into your ear so in this way you can kind of like get like an instant feedback of what you're sounding like mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I will do like a little demonstration like <clears throat> And that way, like I can really hear what I, the sounds that I'm making here. Yeah. You want? Do, would you like to try that? Um, yeah. And like again, and like a, okay. And it's just the same, like what we just did. But what what do I do with with the mouth? Okay. Like I have no like. Here, I'll give you a few. You are starting. You make first like, and then you start also doing something with your lips and. Yes. Yeah. I'll give you a. <clears throat> Yeah, there is uh, there is two sounds. Uh, there there is a there is a this this thing uh, like key that you can call Oreo. It's like a cookie, and uh, it's the sound Oreo. 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 And. And when you slow that down, uh, like in between, when you like, we're going to go into like this space of like making the, the vibration from your throat and saying Oreo mm -hmm. as you're, as you're saying it. And this will be the first one. There is another one that I can share after one. Okay. Uh, okay. Oreo. Oreo. And Oreo it's cookie. like this. Oreo. So, like yes. This. And then yes. check where, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it'll be. Oh, oh, Uh, no. it's, really it's, it's up yeah. here yeah it's up there so you know when you have a, like mucus in your in your throat and you're trying to clear it out like there yeah that <clears throat> yeah try it a bit slower Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, so that that gives you a hint about the the mouth the mouth the mouth part. Like this gives you like where the mouth is and, and the thing that creates the overtone mm -hmm. is that that R when you roll that R we're like if I'm here, I'm still not there. Mm. Okay. Like, yeah, it really I... takes I like bringing it down. Try like clearing your throat, like uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's where it is. Yeah, that's how it's gonna go. Uh, uh. 
and it might be like try not to copy like don't copy my sounds like maybe like like try to find your own sounds mm -hmm. uh, like because my my throat shape is different than yours so okay. and and I, I have a male uh, throat or something and maybe yeah. your throat is a little bit like thinner or higher. like it has higher. yeah higher so try like maybe like there is like a higher pitch or something. place already cool and wow. then kind of like uh, was yeah. there anything you wanted to share no it's good the, the pressure it kind of comes from the the, the diaphragm like I'm gonna stand up for a moment yeah it comes from like down here from your center like, uh, 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 Yeah, and it's like a like a like an elongated uh, clearing of your throat, kind of like that. <laughs> like, okay. Like an elongated. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that's more like the force that you need. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All righty. But, but something gets in vibration a bit, like it's practice. Even, uh, yeah, like even without doing the deep throat singing already, this uh, can unlock things for you to create overtone. Because mm -hmm. uh, is there there is something in the twisting of the tongue that it, the tongue goes like something like a, mm -hmm. uh, like mm -hmm. that inside of your mouth when you say or. When Oreo, uh -huh. Oreo. Or, uh -huh. It makes like a shape. Yeah. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. And that, that creates a, like an, the overtone. Or, yeah. Or, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. And so it's connecting these two. Like you said. Yeah. Because. Yeah, because there is a tone that gets made here, like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it's so deep, it's not there. Or is yeah. it? But for you, it sounds different. When you do it, it, don't, it sounds different than... <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, and that will be your like the the experiments to take home will be like to to the the best place is to go to nature, like go in nature where you can take a lot of space and just connect with the the sounds, the river. The, maybe if you can go to a place where, where there is a river, a stream, the if it's a strong stream that will be cool. If it's a little streamy, that's cool too. Uh, and you start playing. What's what that? makes the difference? What makes the difference to the big stream when you say go to a big stream because it's loud and you need to be louder? Yes, okay. Okay. I think because of the loudness okay. of it, it's like, okay. <laughs> and then you can like, ah, you can, okay. yeah, you can like sing with the river, but even like a small stream is also it also like like works and like yeah like a place where you can connect with the birds the sound of the the wind and these like different elements and just like like sit down there by a tree with your with your back to a tree where the tree can like hold you and you start playing you start playing with your sounds like start like making the sounds that that you that you want to make and playing with this i think that's the that's the way to learn this
it's like a like a way of connecting with your own nature and, and with nature and, and you you you'll start noticing that the birds and the animals there they'll start coming your way and <clears throat> Uh, I, would, I wanted to share, yeah, like this or uh, word, the Oreo word. There is a, another word, uh, and a, this will be something that you can write down in your book, the Oreo, and the other word is near. 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 N e a r. Mm -hmm. And I remember my teacher Matthew. He he shared a few other. A few other words. There were actually like six different words, and I can't remember them. I had these are the two that I that I clearly remember and that I've been practicing with. Uh, so near near also like creates those those overtones, and it creates a, like that that shape in the mouth that that creates the different sounds. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna see something like. Mm -hmm. And in in what I was just doing, like I wasn't using my my throat. I was just using like this this part. Mm -hmm. And but it's the, it creates the shape of the tongue and the lips uh, to create those those, those shifts. And you're gonna like slow it down, slow it down to uh, to make the word really really long, like near. And notice that there is a point that the tongue goes up, that the mm -hmm. tongue, when you repeat the word, the tongue goes up again. Near, near. And you like notice that and notice the difference in sounds that it makes. And if you can like do it like near, near. pronounce that r, r, the r is missing right <clears throat> r, really, the r, like. r, is, r is r r r again <clears throat> can you make it again yeah, yeah, that, yeah go ahead <laughs> can you do it for once yeah like, like mm. Near. Near. the herbs kind of yeah
Oke. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <clears throat> like you're already doing it. You you I like what when it was uh, working for you like I I my I felt chills in my back. Like okay. my 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 being just like wow, she's got it. Like she's doing it. <laughs> But the, it's just like kind of the the R when I'm losing the R it's going away. It is really like the the R which makes it to 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 vibrate in this sense, right? And then this Yes. something like this okay yeah. oh wow but yeah okay cool 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 i want to practice this but at the same time it's like when when do i know like i will hear i will hear it when i when i'm doing it because when you say i'm doing it it's like okay actually i did not hear it yet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what is the reference point what what did you get as a reference point that you know it was like this it was it Yeah, what what did I get? What's the reference point? And I I would say there is a few reference points. Uh, one of them is your your feelings, like that that you will feel uh, something. You will feel like oh, this is something. Oh, like this is something, and and um, and the the other reference point is. The, there is a, a vibration that kind of that gets sustained there is a, like a sustained vibration that that you get like this like overtone feeling that is like a dancing when you get to like that overtone like oh there's something something here and and also like you're gonna have to like it's a discovery process of finding what that reference point is of like like doing it how it is right now how you think it should go and Uh, and then like like feeling that that right that rightness when it's in the in the right spot and also what what could help is uh, possibly like like connecting with others uh, i mean like uh, listening listening to other other people that are doing this technique or something like this yeah like maybe looking up deep throat singing uh, especially for for women i think that that could be really powerful mm -hmm that you get like this uh like kind of like reference their reference point and then mm -hmm. not gonna be the same as yours but at least like you can like maybe like they'll give you a hint about what what it, what your your own sounds mm -hmm. can. Do, i have another another question um lately i came across like it, i think it's called cooning or the coning it's like it's also it's a song or it's a I would say like what what I heard so far it's a it's a way of singing to to gather the the herd like the the sheep and the cows and I don't know if this is the right name coning or conning or something they do it up in the north still yeah um, if you like I can even send you a, like a a YouTube um, video I have it somewhere in in my chats and And I think this is also kind of similar, or I would like to know if this is kind of similar. Yeah. <laughs> the dog say the yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's called coning. Coning, coning. Yeah, I think so. I don't want to watch it, uh, look it up now, but I'll do it afterwards. Like, with a K or with a C? Con with a K. With yeah. a K, coning. With a K. Cool. I... Yeah, and it's, it's some, how they, they use it in in Denmark or Sweden, Norway, like up, up in the North Sweden. Like, I think. Amazing. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm turned on to, to, to other places where I think a few, a few weeks ago, I also heard somebody else saying like, oh, they, they, they do this in somewhere in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, in, in, I would say really? for sure, somehow it sounds also that it's somehow in Russia or It can yeah. be in Slovenia or or um, like in the eastern parts. Yeah. Like Slovakia. Amazing. Yeah, please say I want to know the link for that. If you have. It's a woman, but because this this is a woman who sings. That's why when you just said ah check out deep throat singing with a woman, it's like yeah. ah yeah 
probably. <coughs> and I know that there are women, also kind of a choir of or women who, who sing in a special way. Yeah, I'm going to check this out too, again. And um, yeah, just the reminder to, to drink to drink water if your throat is to give that uh, rest to the throat. Um, so already in, in the experiments that you that we've been doing, the, like I've been noticing that you've been hitting those points and th those sounds, and it's just a matter of going to nature or even like wherever you are, even in the shower, it could be a great place because there is a lot of resonance. Uh, mm -hmm. with bad, like if you like can ask your, your teammates or the people that live with you that you're going to be practicing uh, your sounds, then, then they're aware of it and then you can go full out uh, in your expression. And yeah, it's like those, like that change of from R, the R, E, O, near, O, near, R. And those, they're, they're gonna start like creating, like showing you different sounds inside of you that create a, a vibration that it kind of like, that creates that overtone. And then with time, you're gonna start familiarizing yourself with with the, with those sounds, and you'll be able to create them more intently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. and I want to share a story of my daughter. My daughter is just is four, she turned five years old this year, and she's just learning to whistle. So she was like, she even now, like yesterday, she was like <laughs> all day. She was like. <laughs> She like she was like whistling like for such a long time, and uh, I I started whistling with her. She and when I was whistling with her a few like a month ago, when she first when she first got it, like it unlocked a technique inside of myself. You know it unlocked this technique because she was doing she was doing this she was sounding her throat as she was whistling like. <clears throat> And I, I, I saw like, how are you doing that? And then I tried to do it myself and I was like, wow. So like, wow. And, then, and then it unlocked this, this new thing inside of me and then copying me. And so she was getting it. So she can actually like make these sounds that, that I'm, that I'm making. Cool. I want to see if I can make them. Yeah, and it kind of like, it, again, the, the pressure comes from the long And then I learned how to like connect the, the throat, like the deep throat singing with, with that. And I haven't done it in a while, so I'm going to see if I can do it now. I can't seem to get it right now. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, the recording, I get it only, I get the high tones or the low tones. Mm. So it cuts, it cuts anyway, half of it off. It's a pity. Uh, <laughs> and I, I wasn't really getting so much tones in there. Like, I, I wasn't getting the, the tones that I wanted. Mm. Um, but yeah, there is all these different sounds that, that I can make, and it's still an exploration process for me. Uh, about about this, uh, yeah, and like having that feedback, like having your own feedback like this, it, it, it's really really cool, really powerful, because you can get 
like uh, more of that sound. Also in the shower, you get that feedback because uh, it's like this enclosed space. And in a church, you get this this like resonance resonance. Mm. In a, it's sometimes in parking lots, there are certain parking lots where they like uh, underground parking lots that the like resonate like ba- resonate back that vibration. Yeah, it's, so it's not so good when there's actually echo or something in, in the space, or is it helping? Yeah, it can be really good. It can be like a yeah. way of playing with the echo. Okay, cool. Because our kitchen now here in the bridge house is quite quite echoing. <laughs> oh. yeah. 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 There, there is another part I, I want to share. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's um it's about rhythm uh, uh and there is a a way that I, i'm creating rhythm with with these sounds that is kind of like when i when i run out of, of air when i run out of air like how do i come again into the into the sound and <clears throat> and it's something that allowed me to to create music even from like knowing from knowing very little or being able to to just produce some sounds but not not the whole thing and and this was about uh, the the part is about rhythm mm-hmm. and and i'm just gonna demonstrate what i mean with that and it's like i'm gonna be creating a rhythm with with the with this with these sounds mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be clapping to 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 keep the rhythm. No. So I was like um, creating that rhythm, and there was a time where I'm running out and I'm taking having that time to breathe in, to re to recharge, right? Like to reach my, my oxygen level, and and in that time, there, this is where rhythm comes really really awesomely that that you can have that um, kind of like that rhythm to let you know when when is the time to to breathe in, and so that you can like fall into a rhythm. Mm-hmm. And and this rhythm creates a like an ambience, or it creates a that that like sustainability. Like you can go like this for three minutes, and you can be okay. It's not like a, it's depleting you. Or it's not like this is depleting me. We're like I'm actually finding a rhythm, and and I'm creating with with very basic sounds, just a rhythm, and then like. From what I was creating, like other music can come in on top of it, like like a guitar could come in or or another voice. <laughs> Anyways, so it, are you, yeah. Are you working with loop? Like, do you have a loop and working with loops? Like with a loop station? Like, are you working with this? Not recently, but I have worked with them before. L- last year, I was doing a lot of experiments with that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I can imagine you had uh, awesome sounds with that. 
Yeah, it'll be, an, it'll be an experiment. Last year, I was experimenting with an app called Looper. And yeah, like a record. Uh, and then and then I will like record an extract and it will create these like really cool uh, things. Uh, yeah, so that, I guess that, that falls into like the, the rhythm, the rhythm part. Yeah, like loops, uh, cycles, sustainability. Also, the rhythm is the backbone. So, so you can like, like it can be free flowing. Like you can have like something that's free flowing. And at first, it might be like that when you're practicing. And what I found in my discovery journey is that when I apply rhythm, that it kind of like gives me a, a structure that uh, it allows me to grow grow upon it. Like I can like learn different things and I can like go a little bit off from what, I, what I'm comfortable with, but then go back into the rhythm. And I'm speaking here to like multiple dimensions. Like, uh, yeah, I'm speaking like to the dimension of music, but also to the dimension of life and, and, and work and, and space, like even the dimension of space and timing. Yeah. Uh, we we like to. Uh, uh, I would like to to do an experiment. Yeah, like we do an exercise with you of rhythm. Cool. And yeah, I will ask you if if you can like like keep a, a rhythm like that. And how, however, yeah, like whatever rhythm you feel comfortable with. Mhm. Mm and then. And. And check that you have your grounding core and that you have your, your center and that you have your bubble space and that you have your intention or your the intention for doing this will be uh, to explore a little bit to like kind of like utilize to use the, the things that we've been learning so far to create a, a rhythm or to create an ambience. Okay, with the Oreo or yeah, like with the Oreo, 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 or I'm again here. I need to go down. I have a new possibility. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this uh, I this I call the it's gonna be a, a place for exploring our different range. Okay, cool. Uh, of our voice, and I think mm -hmm. that, yeah, cool. This is the one that I wanted to share. Mm -hmm. And this this one I call the the Sasquatch uh, call, Sasquatch call or Bigfoot. There is a Sasquatch or Bigfoot, and Sasquatch here in Canada or in this in this land, this called Canada, but. It's had a different name before for the indigenous people and the indigenous people they believe in they don't believe that they have the this mythical mythical creature called the bigfoot or the sasquatch and i've had a, a few encounters with with sasquatch and um the, the one of the things that is he's common for doing is that these different sounds like, like they're like creatures of sounds they they have like all sorts of different sounds uh, so I created this experiment inspired by by Sasquatch, by a Sasquatch that I heard uh, uh, in uh, north of Vancouver, and is uh, is an exploration of your of the different range of how deep your voice can go to how high your voice can go, and and I usually do it standing uh, standing up. And it's, it's a bit scary. It's, it's, I feel scared about this because it, it can take a lot of space, but I'll do it. <laughs> so I stand up. I need to. And... So I'm going to check if I, I will do another. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Great. And I need to check. Can you see? Okay. Like this? Do you see me good? Yeah, I see you. And you're gonna yeah, like Ben. Uh I don't know if yeah, it's 
Okay, I will demonstrate it first because I, I haven't done this part yet. But I bend myself, okay. I put my hand on my knees and even on my calves, like down a bit below. And I, I started uh, expressing the, the lowest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Here, I'll do this. <laughs> and uh, I started like gently tapping uh, my body like this. And it's going to go something like this. I'll just do it first. Oh. And as I, I'm going to like start like moving up this way in my in my body. Uh -huh. And as I uh -huh. do, I'm going to change the, the, the frequency of my voice to higher, higher and higher and higher and higher until I'm like all the way up here with my arms up at the highest uh, expression I can make, the like the highest tone I can make. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I'm in the middle of the city and I'm going to see how this goes. Okay. okay. And we do it together? Uh, or you do it first? Uh, le, uh, I'm going to do it first. Okay. 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 I'm sitting down and checking. Okay. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I can do that. Can you <laughs> tap your body like that as you go up, and then uh, you put your, your your hands up in the mm -hmm. air. Okay, you will not see me anymore, but anyhow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It goes from the lowest, the lowest vibration you can make. Mm -hmm. oh. ah, my, yeah. the, the air is gone. Like that. <laughs> the air was gone in between. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a bit of timing to, to kind of like time it all out. Okay, and... so we do it again or not? Yes, please. Okay, yes, cool. Please. <clears throat> Together. Uh, I'm going to watch you do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hola, mm. do you have any <clears throat> how to do it? Hmm? Do you Can have I say any questions? Do you have any no. questions about how to do no, it? No, I need, I just realized I need to... I did not really properly breathe in, and exact, especially when I'm down, yeah. like I'm squeezing my lung. So yeah. I need to take care that I'm not squeezing my lung and have no no air anymore. Yes. And are you are you um, in in this move up? Do you breathe in one time or not? It's uh, just one move. It's one move. And what? Like it, it take for me? It takes a little bit of practice to coordinate that in one breath I can go from the lowest yeah uh -huh. uh, so just take, it doesn't matter if you have to, to stop like stop halfway and then take a big breath and then continue okay good <clears throat> or I make it a bit shorter because I, I stayed here quite a while so okay yeah. okay Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I love these. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you can do those two. I wanted to do this a little bit. It helps you find that, that range, like your range of voices. And that, that is a Sasquatch call. And and the, the like what I would like you to if you can if you would like to do it again, uh, to go this time and notice mm -hmm. notice in your range of voice where like where there is like a like a big resonance, like you're gonna be like, Oh, this is my voice or this um uh, this feels uh yeah, there's gonna be a, a few different points where uh, there is a resonance mm -hmm. yeah and you just go in 
like do it again and notice it notice notice this and like mm -hmm. uh, use a bit of your anger to to notice it yeah to create that that noticing like uh this is for the purpose of, of finding finding that tone for for the next experiment that we're gonna do about rhythm okay cool Yes. 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 I noticed something when you were up here. Yeah. yeah, that's my my like this is also the range where I sing usually. Yeah. Cool. Great. So I sit down again. Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, I I want to say that you can do this, you can do this uh, ex experiment or exercise uh, at any time to uh, to awaken this kind of like awakens like many parts of your being, uh, and like you got like like a lot of different parts of your being awakened and present. It, it's yeah, cool to know. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I take this with me, even when it's not a singing workshop. I really like, uh, like, uh, yeah. Oh, it's slowly warming up, buddy. Yeah. Oh, God, so and uh, it's cool to notice, like, the, the parts where there is, like, different gaps. Like, there is a lower lower voice, and then there is, comes, like, this next level of this mm -hmm. next gap. And then it comes the, the next level, the next gap, and they they feel like almost like different dimensions of, of my being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And uh, it seems you. like, yeah, it seems like there is some doorways in the throat and in the lips that uh, kind of like allows allows to like go from 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 one layer to the next, where there's something changes in the throat and the lips that that it gets to the next, and then from here to the next, and it's like a shift, mm -hmm. like a subtle shift in, in the throat. Yeah, cool. And they can be really fun uh, to do it in a group to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird group. doing it alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And get recorded. Hello, people. <laughs> <laughs> it's super. It's yes. a good practice. <laughs> right on. Uh, so, yeah, I think. Uh, we, this will be our last uh, experiment. Well, I don't know. Let's let's just go with it. This will be our, our experiment of like doing our clapping and finding a rhythm. And what it will be, it will be like using these these sounds that that we're practicing here to just just practice, like make this like a, a space of practicing for for three minutes. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, I, I will like be here listening. Uh, maybe I will provide a bit of coaching if, mm -hmm. if anything that comes up. But this will be like your your musical expression, like how okay. you can use this to, to create your music. Okay. Oh, oh.
is your space to practice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is your space to practice. Yeah, that, yeah. that's great. And, and feel free to like, oh. like go to different places where, ah, where okay. it change. Like, feel free to like, like move it. Uh, whatever you want to slow down or speed up there is no mm. right or wrong uh yeah like this okay. great what is that yes. Sometimes it's working, I would say, but sometimes only. Okay. Well, would you say oh. it's working? Yeah, with the O or and when it's the or from the R to the O. I think there it's something vibrating differently. Is it so? Yeah. I don't know. If you can you hear it properly actually through the mic? Uh, you I'm not sure. I, I can. Like I hear you say that something is working, and I yeah like I want to know like what was working for you, and I hear you saying like it was that that shift between the O and the R or the R and the O, so like O. Yeah, this R. There's something already a bit starting to vibrate. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like this. And I wanna learn this roll that it rolls really like this. Yeah. Something is not yet rolling, and as soon as it's rolling, I think it starts to to spiral somehow around this tone. I don't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I get also yeah. energetic pictures. I get energetic pictures as as soon as it it's flowing. It's kind of this flow, but also this flow. Like it flows around, but yeah, <laughs> this is what I get internally, like energetic pictures. Yeah, so, it, cool. so I'm hearing something is working, hearing that something is working for you, like like you're getting these energetic pictures even. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, I think my coaching will be uh, to uh, like if you can like slow down a little bit a little bit more in, be in between and like find that like find wh where is that change and like try like like stay like it's like in that balance of of it in between that that place where it's working and then the next the next phrase the next word the next uh, sound and then how it goes back and forward 
and it, it's gonna start fine tuning that that place that place for you that place for her. like where is like the yeah. and I don't know really how much the recording is able to capture and send but I think it's important if if you feel like it's working for you that that you say like oh yeah like some there's something here and yeah. uh, and to explore him to explore him more. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a tiny a tiny little drop, but it, nevertheless, it's like it's a start. It's a start. Yeah, yeah, and that that's how it was for me. Like for me, it, like it really took me like uh, it wasn't until a year and a, a year and a half of practice. It, it was a year and a half of practice where I was able to get get some get some vibration that was like wow, like the, like I'm getting it, I'm getting it. So it, it, it wasn't like a whole like waste yeah. of, of time. Like it was like, like really like there was times when I got it. Then there was this time when I got it and like I, I could really do it. And then the next day I could not do it. <laughs> and there was time where, where I got it. And then like I will lose my voice the next, the, the, the time after. And then I will, I will not be able to do it for months. Uh, and there were times where, where, I will do it, and then I I will be able to do it again. But it, it I think it was the the conscious anger practice that really like boom that like put it put it there, because I, I will just able to like like keep my center, like be in my center, use my anger to stay in my center and stay committed to to the making that because it, it's a lot of intensity. Like you, for uh, for me, I like like the the intention that is needed to 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 create that to that continuous pressure in here is it, like it's a uh, like like something archetypal something like that it's archetypal and this is this is the why it creates such a big uh, like healing uh, uh, space or like it, this is the i think is the origin of the, the the power of that it has for healing and i will say like yeah i'm I'm on your team uh, for for you to keep practicing this, and for you to like like tell me like, like continue like asking me questions, uh, and like telling me how it's going in your journey, and for you to continue this exploration. It's really awesome. Cool. Mm. Yes. Yes. I want. Yeah. And and. Kind of how often do you are practicing so that you would not over strabatize your your throat? Like what would you kind of see? Even I heard you did it, and then three some months it was not possible because your kind of your voice was gone, or it was not possible. But like what what do you what you would recommend or for practice? I would say like uh, like use your use your senses to to kind of tell you okay. uh if it, if it's something that's hurting and that like you feel like you push it beyond the limit then like i'll say like stop i say like stop but your your throat will tell you i feel like i have a feeling your throat will tell you and even my throat tells me now nowadays where I am right now, like I practiced this morning, I practiced in yesterday. Uh, I, so like I'm pretty much practicing every day. Like I, I do it every day. Uh, How long are you practicing? I'm just to, to, to have an idea because practice, it, it, it yeah. sounds, it, yeah. What um, does it mean for you practicing? Yeah, I see. It's, it kind of, it's kind of like blending in into like my my way of uh, of expression in in the day like so uh, of often it comes in in the morning time with the sunrise uh, so yeah there is not like a regular practice like at this time i'm gonna practice from this time to this time uh so like at sunrise i feel that energy and like like and and all, often at sunset so at, at sunrise and sunset i practice for let's say like i'll practice for like half an hour or something like that even less like sometimes like 10 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And sometimes yeah, even when I... Uh, yeah, it's, it, it has become to me something like a, like this way of activating my anger when I want to like, like hold space for myself and like kind of like create that, that bubble of uh, extraordinary in the space. Uh, I can use that, those sounds like, like I, it can be from like a small clearing of my throat, like <clears throat> to, to uh, like a more elongated one. Like, and and i don't know like experimenting with the the energetics of like how how it creates energy uh, in the space how it shifts the, the the energy in the space and yeah that's yeah. that's where my practice is so far where, where i see it going is in like going more towards like sharing it uh, for for teaching like for sharing with others like the way that i'm doing right now where uh i'm actually like this is the very first time i'm, I'm teaching this uh that's my my confession of right now uh, and like um yeah, in a way that it that it becomes like this more research, like where I can like actually like research my my edge, uh, and find yeah where I can research like being that that like where I can like pass this this knowledge that I've been uh, researching for the last years to 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 other people, and I can share it with others. Yeah. What an honor. What an honor to have you like that. I'm, I'm your first. I'm fine with student <laughs> like <laughs> learning person, learning person, <laughs> studying person. Oh, I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored to, to be here, Christine. Yeah. yeah, for me, there's been a few uh, key discovery points here uh, for in this call. Yeah, I, I want to like, yeah, like keep discovering more. There's so much gold that, that came from this and and uh, I would love to, yeah, like keep keep, keep sharing this, keep sharing this. And my, my purpose for, for this call mainly is like sharing that gold, like, because I find it so, so amazing. Uh, the, this way of singing and, and how it can impact your own healing. Like to me, it has awakened parts inside of myself that, they, I've been longing for being able to use these sounds, to make these sounds. And almost like, a, like an old part of me, like knew how to make them and now I'm reclaiming them. And wow, yeah, okay. It's bringing me to, to this, this place of, that I, of using this uh, as a way of warrior, creating warrior song. Uh, in specific for this call, cause it's connected with the anger, uh, conscious anger. Uh, but there is a way that that you, you can empower yourself and others to to go into that space together through with these with these sounds. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to to be able to exactly what you do. It like it makes such a difference if you sing. Singing is already amazing, and um, opening this space with such a sound is like it's also like people are like whoa it's so out of, it's so non-linear it's it's so out of the box and i really love it i wanna i wanna practice also surprising myself and pro uh, surprising people and gifting people um and i'm singing a lot so like in in the community we are singing regularly and uh, i look forward to when i probably come back um after the journey in in april that until then i think half a year probably i get out some tones <laughs> when i'm practicing so <laughs> i cross my fingers that that i can sing with them and give him give some tones in so uh, I, I wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if in a few weeks you already start finding some like some new like sounds that you can make with this like in a, in a, in two weeks or something like that i see like like already like being able to 
to use some of these for for your music yeah because i was listening to some guys already also in um, some visitors sometimes in in uh, schloss glarisek and and i was like oh, okay I, i tried also like like now like and and there are some songs we are singing like we are singing a lot as i said and some songs it's really um, they are such a match for for this this tones and so i already tried to to sing a bit in this direction but it was just like only singing still so mm. i really look forward to to implement this the other way this way i so, see hey thank you so much i i think for, for me it makes like kind of it ends up and also my throat i, I realized like okay now yes I need a, like a what did you say a honey Honey, honey tea, and, yeah, I would say ginger. like honey, ginger, yeah, and whatever you can put in there that, that can support the throat in this journey. And there is one more thing that um, I want to propose for the space. Yes, uh, yeah. I want to, uh, yeah, I want to share the story with my teacher, Matthew, uh, in, in that class where, where I went with him. He, he went around the circle and he, he, ch he chanted his uh, deep throat he went like this and with his deep throat singing into our throat and into our third eye and he was like ah oh, like like uh, like automatically putting the body into a liquid state and it was very very amazing and then he had like a conch a shell from uh, the ocean and he he blew it And then he did the he did throat singing into our, our chakra points. He did that for everyone in the circle, and it's really magical. And it was like the, the initiation process. And I and I can do that here, uh, but what I just thought of the possibility that opened up for me is that I I want to create like a yeah like a warrior song for you uh, for the next uh, three minutes. Okay, I'm receiving. <laughs> okay. Cool, yeah. Yeah, listen. Do you have any resistance to that or any questions? No resistance. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All righty. <clears throat> okay, Christine. This is your warrior song from... From, from me to you. Mm. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, 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 yeah. oh. Ah, 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 ah. 
Thank you, Christine. Yeah, so cool. I felt <laughs> glad because the, sometimes the, the video stopped, but I could still hear you. It was like, yes. <laughs> oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you so much. Is there anything else? Any questions that you have? Experience. Yeah. 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 So fine. I'm so fine. And if I have, I will reach out. I think it comes with practice that I will have questions. Yes. Yes. Even, even now, after two years of, of this practice, I reach out to a teacher, Cosell, Matthew. And I, I, I'm telling him, like, hey, after two years of your, your workshop, I'm, I'm giving a, a workshop in deep throat singing. And I'm thankful for you. I'm so grateful for everything that you shared with me. And, and I still have questions. I have, uh, so I'm arranging a call to have a call with him sometimes next week. Uh, cool. so, so that I can also go into that, that next level where I can ask him uh, about how can I, how, how can some people like, like really make these sounds for so long, like, like uh, in what I've noticed. Like I, my my the, the I can only make the sound for a short time, and and I've noticed like some people like they can really like make these long sounds and they can stay in it for like, like when it seems like a longer time. So I want to ask him about that. And yeah, this is where breathing came for helping me. Like breathing comes to to balance it. Well, thank you so much for for choosing me and for being here, for saying yes to, to this proposal and for being the, the first one, the first adventurer. <laughs> I feel really glad that it turned out like this. And uh, that is also creating this space where I can share this with, with others. And, and thank you. I'm really honored to be here, Christine. Cool. Thank you, Jorge. And say hello to your family. Melissa and yay hello cool. to your family Thank too you. in the See bridge you. house yeah yes to Nicole Nicole yeah Nicole and Martin right yeah and Gabriela and Gabriela uh, yes Osangundes. yes yeah so I Thank you. Yeah. And I, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure we see us in the next space. Yes. Yeah. Uh, also, feel free to, to share this with, with anybody that, that you think is interested in going into this exploration. I'm happy to, to, to share this and, and go into that exploration. Cool. Yeah. And 
I would like also to have the, the recording if it's possible. Yes. Like to, yeah, okay. I will send it to anybody that signed up, especially you. Yeah, okay. Cool. All righty, Christine. So, hey, Thank enjoy you. your day. Yes. Okay. Thank All righty. You. Bye, Bye for now. Bye for now. Yeah.